Hello, hello. Friends, we are at the end of the year. Can you believe it? It has gone so fast, I can't believe it. So at this point, hopefully you've taken some time to review the past year, as I talked about in my other video post. And then at this point, we're ready to start looking at the year ahead and look at setting some goals. Exciting! And no, I am not talking about New Year's resolutions, ladies and gents. <clears throat> I'm talking about goals, things that are fairly tangible and somewhat measurable. And essentially it's almost like planning your life. That's kind of the way I think about it. And that's why I think this is so important to take some time to do. We spend so much time planning vacations and <laughs> other things. We like life just passes us by without any real like intention behind it. So I will share with what I have done for several years, but of course, if there's a book you read or a podcast you've listened to, and there's so much out there, so we're so blessed to have a lot at our, <laughs> our eyes and ears and fingertips to access. I think the important thing is just finding something that resonates with you, that you enjoy doing, and that's helpful. So what I have done for several years now is, I've read many years ago Michael Hyatt that's H Y A T T so Michael Hyatt's book Your Best Year Ever and it's a great book highly recommend it's one I actually do have on my bookshelf to refer to especially when doing this um, at the end of the year and I'm not going to go into a lot of details about it other than he essentially one thing I really like is our lives are so multifaceted right I mean we're not just moms dads daughters sisters dentists they're multifaceted so he talks about the ten there are ten different I think he says domains I don't remember what word he uses and I will list them in the words here because I'm probably not going to remember them all right now but there's 10 different domains for example spiritual intellectual vocational avocational emotional parental physical emotional social so that gives you a flavor of, of what we've got going on there. So lots of different areas of our life. And so I basically take a sheet of paper right at the, the year at the top and then make a little spot for each of those. And in each one, I like to list at least three, three items, three goals. And they can be goals or they can be habits. For example, for me, for intellectual, I love to read. So pretty much every year I have reading two books a month. And that's what I write. And that's something that's fairly actionable and measurable and doable for me. And I don't get too specific on what kinds of books. Sometimes I'm reading nonfiction, like what I call personal development self-help books. Sometimes I'm reading more fiction. But reading... And the other thing on this list that I've often put is playing games, which yes, we can write down fun goals or habits. Say what? Yes. For example, just the other day on uh, Christmas Eve, it was, Mark and I played, I think it's called Shut the Door. It was a game he bought that we hadn't even opened yet. And it's it was super simple, which I like because a lot of games, oh my gosh, just reading the instructions, I'm like, oh, I'm over it. So this was super simple and it involved some cognitive ability um, or skills needed to play. And it was super fun. We had a good time with it. So 
those are just a couple examples for me under like intellectual. Um, I mean, it, it, really with this, you can, you know, I love it because it's so wide open. I mean, you can, you know, it, it's, they're essentially your goals for the year and how you want to set up your, your year. The other thing that I like to then do is I make a note towards the end of each quarter to refer back to my list of goals. And I kind of try to use that as a guide or touch point on, you know, how am I doing? Am I reading my books? Do I need to focus more on getting in workouts? Um, things like that. So I, I think it's a really good, good guide for the year. And again, you can, you know, make them whatever you want. And I think that's the fun of it. The sky's the limit. So hope you have fun setting some goals for the year ahead. And again, I'll put in the notes um, about the book and the 10 domains. And let's get goal setting and have a great year ahead.